Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another new cast. This is Blamus. This is Shakur's Plateau. And this is Ghetto Man. He's a Ghetto Man. Playing at the red Protoss up in here. His opponent in the blue Protoss, Zod. Zod the evil Kryptonian as I am turning off casting accoutrements I do not wish to turn off because my fingers are in WASD because I have been playing Deus Ex Human Revolution which is a freaking baller game highly addictive excellent story absolutely gorgeous gorgeous video game everything about it is just beautiful uh, the story is compelling um, side quests are a lot of fun. Uh, Destiny has actually been streaming playing Deus Ex late night, so if you haven't seen it or want to check it out, you can check him. I actually finished the game today. Uh, did it in like three days, four days maybe, um, because that's how I get with RPGs. I just start playing and I can't stop playing them. Um, so yeah, um, you know, like, play Deus Ex, like, if you like games and stuff, you know? This is a PvP. I don't know either of these players, and I sure don't know what happens in this game because my excellent of excellent systems that I have in place, my, my, uh, state-of-the-art replay filtration system takes care of the, uh, replay quality. And this is guaranteed to be a uh, rip, roar, and good time. Which doesn't always get to happen in a PvP. Uh, normally, as you are well aware, it's a four-gate fest. But on this map, it is fun and easy to do something like Ghetto Mang is doing and uh, Forge Fast Expand. Um, he hasn't done it. He's, okay, he's going to Forge Gate cannon. Is he going to leave this open? Looks like he's going to leave that open. I guess it doesn't matter against Protoss. He doesn't have to wall off against his... It's not a Zer or anything. And it looks like Zod is doing regular straight up four gate pressure, so it should be interesting. Um, and I just deduce that one gate, Cyber, one gas uh, makes me think four gate. Could be wrong. He could drop a Robo after the Cyber comes up. Um, but normally, if you're going to go Robotech early, you're going to get a second gas around now. Around 22, and there it is. Okay, so he's not going to forgate. He is going to uh, do some kind of Robo or Blink Tech. And there is the expand for it. Get on, man. We need to get on now, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You ain't got to be get on, man. But you do have to say, Mer. if you say, because you couldn't say, you couldn't say Ghetto Mang, Ghetto Mang, no, no, that's wrong, it's actually wrong, it's actually incorrect to say Ghetto Mang, you don't say Ghetto Mang, you say Ghetto Mang, and if you don't say Mang, then you ain't saying it right, that's the law, you know what I'm saying, nah mean, nah mean, oh yeah. Hey, that's a Nexus. It's down in the natural. Getting the early expand on. Neither player has scouted the other apart from uh, the initial scout. But the initial scout for uh, Zod, pretty good. Saw what his opponent's doing. Uh, Ghetto Mang has not seen anything other than the just beginning of that first <laughs> gateway getting warped in. And look, he's got two gases. Ah, it is going to be Blink Stalker. Blink stacker. Go from ghetto mine to the Boston. Hey, I'm gonna get a little blink stack up in here. Blink stacker. Gonna park my car in the garage with some blink stackers. This first stalker is out. Hopefully, going to do a bit of scouting. I believe. I think this is a silver PvP. Um. Oh man. It's late, and uh, I've been trying to test. I've been doing a lot of testing, trying to see if um, if I can use XSplit to record these VODs. Um, you know, it'd be nice to have everything set up to where 
you know, you could do scene changes and things like that. Because XSplit is a fantastic program. If you do any streaming, or if you'd like to do any streaming, you should definitely check out XSplit. Um, it's just a really neat program. But I'm, because I have a 16 by 10 monitor and can only record high quality and um, at 144900 um, it just causes all kinds of problems for me. So I was trying to see if I could figure something out. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Now Zod getting his forge, gateway on a low ground, and a cannon. And I'm guessing we're going to see him expand. Interesting fourth gate at this point. I'm not sure I'm into that. Oh, look at this. He's got the pylon on the high ground and stalkers. Here's a robo facility for Ghetto Mang, who's going to be in deep, deep doodles of trouble. Holy crap, he doesn't see it. Then now he sees it. Holy crap. And Zod coming in. What do we have? We have Observer out first and uh, Zod going right for the pylons, powering the cyber. And the blink is already finished, so the zealots are not going to be able to uh, do the damage. And both of those buildings have been unpowered. Uh, now the Zealots are able to do some damage because Link cooldown on these Stalkers hasn't finished yet. Um, so Gettlemang doing a good job of battling back these units and he is going to clean this up. Oh no, but there's another Warpin on the high ground. More, four more Stalkers. They're going to be fully equipped with their Blink. Uh, but once again, uh, Gettlemang just doing a great job in spite of the Blink Micro of... Uh, Still, in spite of the Blink Micro, doing a really good job. Going to take out that pylon, and now going to take out, wow, four more Stalkers. Amazing how these first two Stalkers were alive through three Warpins. Um, and that just tells me we're looking at Silver Micro, obviously. Um, I think if... Uh, and look at Immortal's going to come out and be like, ha 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 Blink away now, bitch. Jablam! 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 Yeah, he's just gonna kick noodle butt. Oh, nice blinking on the immortal. Um, curious now. More immortal coming in. More gateway. Uh, Red has so much money. There's no reason why he should be. He should not have guys. I mean. He, oh, he doesn't have any gateways. Duh, that's a reason. That's a good reason. But he's got two fully mining bases. Um, losing the morals. Man, how... Zod now just being relentless with this attack. Um, he's going to keep... If he keeps it up, he's going to be in a little bit of trouble. He is running on five gates. Um, which you can do when you're all in. But then, if your attack fails and your opponent ends up beating it off <laughs> uh, he said beating it off if your opponent ends up holding it off which is what I meant to say come on work to those freaking gateways oh my goodness five more zealots immortal just gonna get completely creamed immortals cannot really kite zealots effectively not without taking damage more zealots coming in that is a lot of zealots oh my goodness how is how is Ghetto Man even staying in this game? I've gone home a long time ago, man. We need to re-rally that. And now... Oh, Ghetto Man loses the warp in the pylons, and now... Uh, oh, nice warp in. Very nice. Saving the pylon. Oh, but the, get the zealots are going to be able to get around. Now ignoring the pylon, going after workers, and... Uh, this is going to be trouble for Gettemang. He loses all his production buildings here. And now he's losing all these probes to the Zealots. Why is this game not over? Oh, going after the pylon. And he does lose the weapon. So now no more reinforcements can come for Zod. But he's got enough army right here to kill pretty much everything. There's one gateway up here. I'm curious as to how... And look at that. Three more pylons getting warped in. Gateway finishing up. Uh, Ghetto Mang is in control here. There is... But look at all this money. All this money that 
Ghetto Mang has. Um, my goodness. Oh, just continually losing pylons, losing hundreds of minerals on pylons. He's going to lose this Nexus because there's nothing here to save it. And he's going to do a couple of pylons on the low ground. Another cannon going to try to warp in units one at a time. Uh, he's going to lose everything up here. Holy crap. This does not look good for Ghetto Mang. Why he's even staying in this game. And now look, Zod totally jacked up here, expanding behind it. Um, this, this looks painful. Just 27 food lead for Zod. Ghetto Mang is living in the ghetto. On a cold and gray Chicago morning, something and something child was born in the ghetto. And look, he's completely walled himself in, so he can't, he can't get flanked, he can't get surrounded. Nice force field on the ramp. Tank's gonna be able to take units down. Just uh, mostly zealots there, so just hang back and let the tank do your damage for you. Uh, do not go up there. There's no reason to go up there. No reason to chase. You have another force field? No, you don't. Uh, cannons will do lots of damage here. No reason not to let them do the work for you. Uh, except now. Oh, gonna get the surround with the workers. No, 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 no. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. I mean, it's gonna work, but it's not the best way to do it. So, okay. Lots of workers. Uh, the saving grace here for Ghetto Mang is because he expanded early. He's got a lot of money. So he can go right back up here, plant his nexus, plant some pylons, get his robo up, and really not have missed much of a step. Now he does have, and there's not even that many units back here. Look at this. Uh, because, oh my goodness, Zod, because he he was so aggressive and continually warping in units after units after units, is completely mined out in his main, and, uh, you know, totally saturated. But he's basically off one base. So... That being said, Ghetto Mang is really not that far behind. Um, but this is a big force coming in here. A lot of Stalkers. Immortal. Um, man. And here, like I said, all these buildings coming back. There's a Cyber Core coming back in. Because now he can only warp in Zealots. So the sound is playing tricks. What does it want to do every once in a while? Skipping around like... Pain in the butt. There's the. It has returned. I have returned. The sound has returned. Um, if I'm Ghetto Mang, I want this this Overlord. Uh, Overlord. Overseer. Overseer. Holy shit. <laughs> Observer out here at the front of my ramp so I can see what's coming. He has to know something is coming. He's getting a lot of zealots. Um, and he is finally getting. He did get his plus one upgrade, and now he's getting his plus one armor. So he is uh, ahead of the game in that regard. Um, and there's the Twilight Council finally going down. He is going to need charge for those Zealots if he wants to, them to be effective. Um, and the longer Zod waits, the harder time he's going to have. He's going to get vision with these Immortals, and he's going to let them tank the damage up front. Uh, didn't lose anything. Lots of pylons aren't here. There's a huge Blinken, but now he doesn't have anywhere to go against these Zealots, which absolutely tear Stalkers to shreds. I could actually see the serious possibility of Ghetto Man winning this fight. Except he's got very bad positioning of Zealots, though. He does finally have some Stalkers on the field. Uh, another Blink away, which actually leaves his, his Immortals vulnerable. Actually, not a good Blink at all, because now he's just basically giving his Zealots the flank that they need to kill these Immortals, which is exactly what happens. Ghetto Mang um, is going to win this fight. Holy crap, he's going to hold it off because the Zealots are going to come in and Zealots just cream Stalkers. And he is getting the Zealot charge, so he is in great shape. And I don't think he lost a single worker in that whole thing. Lost a few pylons, just like before, but the dude's running a freaking trust fund. He's got everything he needs, and he's going to be uh, strongly mining on two bases in very short order. Um, this is completely amazing. <laughs> um, just the way this is working out for Ghetto Mang, man. I am totally surprised. Ghetto Mang. Totally surprised that Ghetto Mang, uh, after 
getting cream, but you know, that's what happens uh, early on. You have to uh, spend a lot of money on units to be aggressive like Zod was doing. Got mined out. Um, did a lot of damage, but now um, he's going to be up against a two base Protoss. Uh, he could do a, a probe transfer. He does have plenty. Probably a little too much. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, actually, it's not a bad transfer. And he's look going mostly zealots up against charge zealots against blink stalker is baller because zealots will cream stalkers one on one. Zealot will beat a stalker and handily. It's not even really close. Um, but now ghetto man getting mined out in his look at that. Zealot's gonna come out. They're gonna get us around. He's gonna blink out, but it's not gonna matter. Uh, they they just don't do enough damage because zealots are considered light. Um, they don't do the extra damage against Zealots, so the Blink Micro, while effective, is not going to be as effective as you want it to be in this situation. He's going to lose all these Stalkers. Um, and if, if Ghetto Man wanted to, he could just go keep marching right in there and kill it. But he's going to get himself some reinforcements, which he can do, and now again, mostly Zealots. Uh, upgrading at the forge, getting that plus two armor, uh, perfect again against stalkers. If you're zealots, it's like it's like marauders. You know they don't get to do their extra damage, so an armored zealot takes a bazillion hits for a for a uh, marauder to kill. Same with a stalker, uh, that takes a lot of hits for a stalker to kill a zealot. Uh, now using these a lot of zealots coming up here on the ramp, gonna get going to a lot of these guys in the front are going to die taking damage but they are going to kill the tanks they are going to be able to come in here they are going to kill these stalkers a couple stalkers in the back uh just for for fun i guess <laughs> uh blinking back the stalkers not a terrible idea but the zealots are the only thing keeping the stalkers alive right now and they are all going to die just way too many zealots and uh ghetto mang has done it holy crap um so for oh but my goodness the colossus i didn't even see the tech go down but the colossus is out for ghetto man but he is going to get surrounded by these charged zealots and it is going to die um you need to have superior colossus micro well actually you can't if they have charge you cannot micro against zealots and more zealots coming in just damage dealing fiends these zealots down goes the Nexus, down goes the probes, down goes everything that belongs to Zod, trying like crazy to get a Colossus out, but that's terrible. What now it's tough, it's tough. He he, he had it, you know, uh, rallied to a surround. To if he had rallied it out here, he might have been able to do a little micro. If he had everybody up there, he could have danced to top to bottom. On, the, on and off the ledge, but just too many zealots. Too many zealots. They're they're like... Um, they're behaving as though they're zerglings at this point. <laughs> and uh, look at this. Two stalkers and everything else is zealots. And that's good game. Zod gives it up. And I really have to hand it to Ghetto Mang. Um, A, for hanging in there and not quitting, because I would have been out of that game real fast. Um, you have to get on his case for having that big old trust fund, but I tell you what, that's what saved his butt when he was able to finally get the kill that pylon and get Zod out of his base. He was able to uh, rebuild very quickly and get strong very quickly because he had all those minerals. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. That's my con contribution to the community for the day. Hey. Um... I got nothing else, so keep climbing that ladder, y'all. Peace.